All right, guys, come along with me and my co-worker as we visit a couple of wineries in Herman, Missouri. So the first one was Adam Puchka Winery. We did a couple tastings here, but then we went on to the Stonehill Winery, which had more selections. Lots of space for tours and sampling. Here we also decided to do some tastings where we get to select six wines for a tasting. Here we are just following our hostess to the sampling room so we can get started. This is only aged for one month, back in the month of September of last year. Oh, Nouveau is the French word for new. So it's the very first wine to come off the um, presses if you want to. All right, so now you've got the Ozark Calvinder. This is a blend of our Morton, our Chamberson, and our Tay grape that our wine masters have shared with us. Similar to an apothic red, you red cherries, blueberries, blackberries, plums, mocha, and coconuts. <laughs> All right, so you both are going to be on the Chamberson. This is made from the Chamberson grape. This is going to be some to be on noir, black pepper, toffee, cherries, and plum. All right, so you both are on our car Norton now. This is our state bottle wine. This is what we're known for. We won many awards for this guy. Of course, made from the Norton grape. You're gonna get red cherries, plums, black pepper. You're gonna get some jamminess. It's very full body. So you're gonna get a lot of flavor and a lot of to it. Of course, a lot more dry. So this is the Terminette. This is the driest of the sweets, sweetest of the dries. So you're gonna get golden apple, pear, ginger, lime, honeysuckle, and lychee. So it's a blend of fruity and floral. That's a very nice light and crisp. Okay, so this is blackberry. This one is going to be the it's like a dry or a sweet Jolly Rancher, but a little bit tart on the end, just like a blackberry would be. Norton Gray. It's a small vineyard on the owner's property, so a little bit different. A little bit more earthy. Pine needles, eucalyptus, cherries, and chocolate milk. And as you can see, this is the one I chose, in my opinion. This was the best one out of the six I chose. A very deep, dry, red wine. Just absolutely beautiful. I love it. So, if you're in the area, give it a try. house and do a vertical tasting of 10 years. Mm. Um, of Morton. 10 years of Morton. And then you go to a dinner pairing with Morton. And as you can see here, I had to go back to the honey. My little one loves honey in her tea. So I end up choosing the whipped honey because we've never tried that. And here we are leaving. It's okay. Look like we bought a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so heavy.